Hi everyone, my name is Bolaji. Um, today I'll be taking you through a short tutorial on how to set up Paystack on your Shopify store. Um, basically, there are two ways you can go about this. Um, the first way is you go to your Shopify store, you log in and you go through your settings. The other way you can do this is um, you go to our developer documentation, that is um, developers.paystack.co. So on this website, you can find all our plugins um, and our API um, documentation. So if you are going through this page, um, you go to developers.paystack.co, like I mentioned, you click on Shopify. Uh, on this page, you visit the link that uh, paystackintegrations.com slash Shopify. Uh, then you click on install payments provider. So basically, it still takes you back into your Shopify store. Um, if you've not logged in, you need to log into your Shopify store and uh, you have to go to accept credit cards. So this is the first way. The second way is um, you log into your Shopify store that's on your home page. Then uh, you go to settings. On your settings, you click on payment providers. So um, on payment providers, you go to where um, the column that says accept credit cards, you select the provider, that's Paystack. And like I said, it brings you back to the same uh, place. So here you will be required to enter your um, API keys, either your um, test public and test secret key or your live public and live secret keys. So to get your API keys, you have to go to your Paystack dashboard. So this is my Paystack dashboard. On your Paystack dashboard, you go to your settings also. I have to log into my Paystack dashboard. So on my settings, I go to API keys and webhooks. So at this point, um, my dashboard is still in test mode. So um, I have my test API keys here. So I copy my um, API keys, the test secret key. I copy it, go to my Shopify store and I paste it into um, secret key. So you have to make sure you paste the right keys into the right um, boxes. I go back to my dashboard and I copy my test public key. I also paste that into the public key form and then I activate but like I said earlier on um, if you notice those were test keys so it means currently I will be able to carry out just test transactions on my Shopify store so when I get my um, paystack um, account activated I can now have my live API keys and I'll be able to just replace them in this same uh, place and I'll be able to carry out live transactions on my Shopify store. So basically, let's do a quick test um, of my Shopify store uh, and see how it works. So I go to my Shopify store. Um, I've added a couple of test items just for to test the payment. So let's say I was to buy this item, Timberland shoes. I add to cart, uh, check out. You can see at this point it shows um, Paystack as the payment method. You can see the Paystack logo here. It's confirmation. So I complete my order and it redirects me to Paystack. And like you can see, because I use test API keys, it tells me this is a test page. Pay with test cards below. And you can see there's a test card here that you can copy and uh, paste here to test. So you just have to click on the number here. It copies. You paste it here. You click on this, it copies, you paste it here, click on this, it copies, and you paste it there. And you make the test payment. And as you can see, payment has been successful. So if I wanted to start receiving live payments from my customers on my Shopify store, I would need to change uh, the API keys I put in earlier on. Those are my test API keys. I need to put in my live API keys. So now that my um, account is now in live mode, I can now see my live API keys. You know, earlier on, I saw only my test API keys, but now I have both um, the live keys and my test keys. So now I need to replace um, the test keys on my Shopify store with my live API keys. 
So I go to my Shopify store and settings. I click on payment providers again. And at this point where you see pay stack, you edit. So these are the live um, API keys we put in earlier on. You have to come and delete it. Then you go to your pay stack dashboard. You copy your live secret key. So at this point, you have to be very careful. Lots of people place um, the wrong keys in the wrong places. So you look at it carefully. This is the live secret key. You go to this point. Um, this is the secret key. So you paste it here. Uh, you go to you copy the live public key now and go to your Shopify store and you paste it. Uh, one more note of caution your secret key is supposed to be um, something personal. You're not supposed to share your secret key with um, other people. So when you are done pasting your um, live public key and your live secret key, you save. And when it's done saving, you should be able to now go to your store and carry out um, real transactions. So for another test, uh, let's say I was trying to buy these Nike slides on my Shopify store now. I add to cart, check out, uh, continue to shipping, uh, continue to payment method. Uh, yes, you see pay stack once more and you complete your order. It redirects you to Paystack. And like you can see, there's no more red banner telling you that it's a test payment. So if you put in your card details now, it will charge your card and um, it will make a successful live payment. So that is how you integrate Paystack on your Shopify store, um, both for test and for live transactions.